Alright, yay, more fighting. Let's activate Unleash Mode. Let's check out the surprise and shit. All those exclamations going over their heads. Die, I'm smashing the Y button right now. Look how that can be. I've cleared the entire room without getting hit, and I've done nothing to change the direction I'm holding the joystick. Oh, hey, this dude isn't dead yet. How did I get hit exactly? He wasn't even starting to swing yet. And of course, I was mashing on the B button, hoping that it would work. Of course. Why would that happen? Why would it work at an appropriate time or place? Yes, robot, I fucking see you over there. I just don't care about you. still alive? He had nothing left on his health bar. Bullshit, that homie's still alive. No, I don't want that! Are you kidding me? Why are you stuck in place? Also, why did a robot just die? Like, it looked like he was trying to be like, Tell my mother I love her! But I'm not going to, because I'm gonna wear hedgehog, and wear hedgehogs ain't got time for that shit. Also, I'm probably gonna quit this game before I meet your mother. More's the pity. We could give her a new son. That's right. I went to I banged your mom jokes. That's how bored I am right now. Oh, there's stuff in here. By stuff, I mean stuff to hit in the face. Which I done did successfully. I just mashed it as well. Uh, we'll wait. Let's see what's in here first. Ain't a drink. Oh, there's more stuff that comes in There's not even a book in here to justify coming through here. There's just, there's just, there's just nothing. Alright, well, while we walk back, make this long trek that's gonna take ages. Going to the seaside parlor. Once I spin the cap back on that bottle, bust the cap on that bottle. The fuck is going on? What is? What is? What is? What? Uh, what am I? Oh, here we go. I get it now. Double jump, you son of a bitch. Yeah, Look like I'm playing fucking Splinter Cell or some nonsense. Get out of here. Can I not? Go away. Thank you. Oh, you dumbass. Uh, climb up, please. Thank you. You are such an asshole. Climb up. Up. Jesus. You need to watch more Disney movies so you can understand that up means up. How would you even actually understand? Like, how would you explain that if somebody, like, had to task you? To describe what up means to somebody that just doesn't know like directions to. Like imagine they're blind, so you can't just be like, oh, it's that way. It's like that whole shit about trying to. I mean, I guess you could just be like, oh, it's everything above you, but then what if they don't know what above means? It's oh, you. <sighs> Fuck that up the first time too. Cause I would have thought a good game. Would fucking know that obviously I want to latch onto this and not die. Up! Okay, oh my god, I did the same. The seat like that shit. What platformer requires you to press a second fucking button? Which one? Or why or do they just automatically latch on as they're fucking supposed to? Because that's how game good games are designed. Of course it, they just latch on, but no, on this one you gotta press a second goddamn button. Jump! This game is giving me a headache. Like, this is 
stuff I've already been through. This is stuff I've already experienced, and I already know it's coming, and it's giving me a headache. That's how bad these levels are in the first place. Even when you're prepared for the misery. You're, you're still not... Really, you're still not. It just doesn't... This is something you can just really prepare yourself for. Oh god, that just gonna blow me up. Ow. Damn, he not only blew me up, he blew all of his own people up. Like, look at that. All of his dudes are dying. Uh, I don't think I'm supposed to be out here, so that's... Okay. Yep! What? Ow! Could you, could you not? Could you, could you not do that? Or just keep doing that? Fine, you know what? You know what? Fine. Patty did just mash the button until it works, and this dude's too stupid to turn around, so hey. We win. At least I gotta give it to the game. At least it didn't keep me clipped out of the fucking map. Not so bad. And that wouldn't didn't take me nearly as long, because last time I think I got like Experience for collecting those, I guess that's what it does. That would be what the upper right corner thing is for. I suppose. Enjoy. Can you hear the enthusiasm in my voice? So the next level we do is gonna be a Terrible. Terrible level. Terrible level. What are you doing out here? Sonic, is that really you? That's a new look. What happened? You know me. Never a dull moment. Want some chocolate? Uh, thanks. It's poison. That's some story. Because my minions failed to kill you. you turning into that. But this chocolate won't. Are, are somehow related. I need to find Eggman and make him fix this. <laughs> and fast. Oh yes, because uh, 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 of, uh, of all things I that are likely to occur, it will be Eggman fixing on. you. Oh, really? Professor Pickle over at Spagonia University. I came to this city to gather some data. If we add that to his research findings, we might be able to get to the bottom of all this. Spagonia. That's a continent over. An easy jog if the planet were broken. No problem. My Tornado One will get us there in a flash. Let's get going. Leave it to you, Tails. Let's get moving. So now, you've experienced this in Sonic Adventure, right? That terrible attempt at um, emulating the kind of like Panzer Dragoon formula where you have, you know, you, you had your shoot button, you could fly around, you had your shoot button, and you could lock on to things if you held down the shoot button, blah blah blah, except it was a terrible level, right? We remember that? So they fixed that by doing this level where it's 100% quick time events. You don't control the trajectory of the plane in any way, shape, or form. The plane's path is completely pre-planned. You have no effect on it. And literally all that you can do is, as you can see, that little Y button right there, that little, that little icon, that appears before every single enemy that comes your way. And you just have to hit the button that corresponds with, you know, whatever the prompt is. And that's how you win this level. It's 100% quick time events. And it's a hundred percent fucking bullshit. Huh? Here comes the bride. It's just an absolutely terribly designed level. Sonic. Tornado. Battle mode engaged. <laughs> Thank you. 
match. Like, I'm so uninterested right now that I'm, I'm not even focused. Let me actually focus. Oops, I hit the Y button. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, I didn't actually get hit. I hit the wrong button and nothing bad happened. Great. Sonic must be getting one hell of an arm workout. That's the other problem, is like they spawn icons behind other icons. So sometimes they're very easy to miss. Oh shit, I was just that I heard the button and I didn't, or I mean I heard the sound effect, but I didn't see where the hell that dude was. My main problem with quick time events, I mean like, just I just like them in general regardless of whether or not I succeed at them. But my main problem with it is just like I'm not 100% on, I missed that one. I'm not like completely 100% on what, um, like exactly where each button is, so it always takes like a moment of just like, wait a minute. All right, that's right, that's where that button is. Sweet. So that's why I'm generally just, it takes me a long time to react. I always have to take just like a split second to think like, oh, that's right, the but this is, the X button is on the left, the B button is on the right. Why did I not get that? Why did I not have time to get that dude? Fuck you! I was saying, let me focus, and I already, like. <laughs> Stop caring already. I hate this shit. What? What is that this thing? Is such a yeah. design. It's such a design. The quick time events is always just a way where, like, you want to show something particularly cinematic, but you can't. There's no real way to do that within the game mechanics. So you just hide that cinematic behind a button prompt. Looks like we've gotta beat that thing to get And it's just like, either let me play your game or show me a cinematic. Don't try and mix them together and just like fail it later. I forgot that's what happened, you have to mash the button when his shit opens. Like, you know, if you're trying to do quick time events, in the, I mean, obviously this isn't really the same, this isn't really entirely comparable to how most quick time events are handled, but in general, to have quick time events, like, in the middle of the scene, and it's just, it's just a failure of design, because... Oh my bad. Did I miss my chance to show? I didn't even, I never even saw a pump. And so it's like I'm paying too much attention to, you know, like waiting for a prompt to really pay close attention to a cutscene in the first place. Go! Fire all weapons! Describe what just occurred there. 
Come on, take me to a loading screen so I can stop this video and we can get to the part where I quit the first time around. 